here's the book I'm going to read today. It says, is it living or non-living? Look it. It's asking a question again. It's asking the question. And maybe just like the other book, people put the title of the book to answer a question that you might have. So let's see what they're going to show us in this book. Title page. And look at, I see ing in this word and ing in this word. Maybe you saw it too. All right. Oh, look at a table of contents. I love to see that. Today we're going to read the whole book. I know, it's hard to believe because Mrs. Gustafson hasn't been reading the whole book. All right, here we go. Let's see, make sure you can see the whole thing. Living things are alive. Living things grow. Oh, put that in your brain. Living things grow. Plants and animals are living things. What do living things need? So they just told us that plants, that living things grow and that living things are animals and plants. Now they're asking us, what do living things need? Let's see if they answer that question for us. Animals need air, food, and water so they can stay alive. Okay, they just told us what they need. Air, food, and water. Plants need air, light, water, and nutrients so they can stay alive. So animals need air, food, and water, and plants need air, light, water, and nutrients. Kind of the same thing. All right, and they have a picture of an animal, and they have a picture of a plant here, don't they? All right, let's go to the next page. Non-living things. Oh, look at this. You know who would love this? Mrs. Welna. She loves rocks. Non-living things are not alive. Non-living living things do not grow and do not have needs. So this rock doesn't grow and it doesn't have needs. Nope. Let's go to the next one. Non-living things do not need food or water. Non-living things do not need air, light, or nutrients. Nope. They don't need any of those things. Habitats. Oh, some of you have might read of that this on Pebble Go, habitats of the animals that you were researching. A habitat is a place where certain types of plants or animals live. There are many different habitats on Earth. Habitats where we people, even people are living things. We know that, of course. Chicks are living things. Habitats is where they live. We live in houses or the city or the country. Animals, a bird lives in a nest. A chicken might live in a chicken coop, or it might live in a far, at a farm. That would be its habitat. Let's go to the next page and see what they're saying about these fish. In each habitat, there are living and non-living things. Can you tell which things are living and which things are non-living in each habitat? Oh, they're going to show us habitats, and you have to say what's living and what's not. Fish, living or non-living, shout it out. Living. Rocks, living or non-living? Non-living. Oh, you're so great. Here we go. Polar habitats. All right. Polar habitats are areas of land and water near the North Pole and the South Pole. Oh, they live at both the North Pole and South Pole. Um, the South Pole habitats and the North Pole habitats are very cold. There are many living and non-living things in a polar habitat. All right. So the snow and the ground, non-living. Penguins, living. This seal is in a polar habitat. It is living. Is it? Oh, they're asking you a question. Is it living or non-living? You're right. It's living. Does it need food, air, and water? Yes, it does. Does a seal grow? Yes, just like kids grow into adults. Seals grow into adult seals. This seal is living. All right, let's see if we've got another question. Oh, now they're showing us a desert. Oh, we talked about, we talked about this. Remember we talked about cactuses um, in one of our other things that we did for a lesson. Saguaro cactuses. I read it. It was in our little 
three javelina book. Remember that? Deserts are areas of dry land. It can be very hot in a desert. There are many living things and non-living things in a desert habitat. All right. This sand is in a desert habitat. Now they're asking you the question, is it living or non-living? Shout it out. What's your guess? You're right. It's non-living. Because you ask yourself the question, does sand need air, food, and water? Does it grow? Nope. The sand is non-living. You were right. Oh, let's see about the ocean. There are things in the ocean. Oceans are very large areas of water. There are many living and non-living things in an ocean habitat. Yeah, I believe that. Here we go. This is a lobster in an ocean habitat. It is, is it living or non-living? Hmm, is a lobster living or non-living? Shout it out. Living, you're right. Because we know, does it need air? Yes. Does it need food? Yes. Does it need water? Yes. Does it grow? Yes. This lobster is living. You're right if you guess living. All right, the next one. Oh, this is a prairie. This is a prairie. Prairies are open areas of land with few trees. There are many living and non-living things in a prairie habitat. Well, I know that those are living. The grass, what do you think? We're going to learn. Let's see. The pond is a prairie habitat. The pond is in a prairie habitat. Is it living or non-living? Does it need air, water, and food? Does it grow? A you guess it. Shout it out. A pond is non-living. Now, what about the grass around the pond? Does the ground, does the grass need water, air, nutrients? Yeah. And does it grow? Yeah, grass is living. All right. The rainforest. I love the rainforest. Rainforests are large forests that grow in warm, wet weather. There are many living and non-living things in a rainforest habitat. I love that word too, habitat, where something lives. All right. This plant is in a rainforest. Is it living or non-living? Well, shout it out. Living is right. It does need air, light, water, and nutrients. And you know what? We know plants do grow, don't they? Okay. Oh, so now they're asking you the question, and we'll do this together. Living or non-living? Rock. Shout it out. Non-living. Yep. Snakes. Shout it out. Yes, they're living. Plants. Living is right. What about a waterfall? Non-living. That's right. Waterfalls are non-living. All right, let's keep guessing. What have we got here? Snow. Non-living is right. Dolphin. Living. Yep. Palm tree. Living. Yep. A stream. Non-living is right. You guys are good at this. So when you do your activity today on Seesaw, it will be easy for you to drag those things up and decide, do they go with living, starting with a l, 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 or non-living, starting with an n, mm -hmm, non-living. All right, get to work.